heart kind of bogged down in the third quarter. In, what, in your mind, what do you think happened out there? Uh, we uh, had great energy to start the game. Uh, I think turnovers and fouls um, really killed us. Um, we out-rebounded them, but they had a few uh, offensive rebounds that led to fouls that led to, you know, some open shots. Um, but I think we had great intentions, you know, turning the ball over guys, you know, trying to make the right play, trying to make the right reads, and it's going to come after a while. Um, but that third quarter, I mean, they missed so many shots in the first half. You expect Paul George and uh, Schroeder to start, you know, making shots in that third. So we just weathered that storm and, um, you know, kept playing hard and kept contesting shots, and they was able to uh, miss a few. But we kept shooting ourselves in the foot with, like, turnovers and, then Clay, I mean, when is Clay going to miss that many wide open threes, you know? And Steph missed a bunch of them in the third. Good looks. Um, so I love who we are. Um, game one of 82, and uh, just keep grinding. You had Damian out there for the 26 minutes against a, obviously a real tough guy. Uh, you had Looney out there for key minutes. What did you think about those two guys specifically in this game? Man, so proud of those guys. So happy that they get the opportunity this season to play for us and uh, play big minutes, meaningful minutes. DJ was great tonight. So much being thrown at him from everyone, um, you know, just so he can his his development has to be a little bit accelerated right now, especially with Boogie out, um, you know. So he's coming in, he's you know learning the schemes, just learning the little tricks of the game that you don't really get unless you play. Um, you know, I think uh, it's a great test for him to go against Stephen Adams, who was just a bulldog down in the in the paint, and uh, I think he held his own. Kevin, two, two part question, real quick. Uh, First of all, you f fell late in the fourth quarter pretty hard. How are you feeling after that? I'm good. And uh, the second part is Steve mentioned that maybe conditioning was a bit of a, a factor late in the game, especially, you know, uh, coming out of halftime. Do you, do you agree with that? Um, just with the team overall? Or... Yeah, it's a, I mean, yeah, we're playing a fast-paced league now. You know what I'm saying? And coaches are – I hear both coaches from the sideline, push, 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 get out and run. Um, but I mean, we we you got to guard so many screen and rolls, so many pin down actions. You're getting hit by screens. They got the best screener in the league, and Steven, you're getting hit by screens, and you know Steph, Clay coming off the of screens, and you want to play fast. So I just think that's just the nature of the game. I think by January, well not January, I want to say in a, at least a couple weeks, every team would be kind of accustomed to the pace of the game. Um, but I just think in the third quarter they made shots, you know, and. They had a few actions that they that they uh, they were successful on, um, but they made shots. They made threes, and I think that's what got them back into the game. But it was our turnovers that uh, and uh, fouls that didn't really give us a. We had a ten point lead going to the half, which could have been seventeen or eighteen if we take care of the basketball and not foul. Um, Kevin, Steve said before the uh, season that he was going to go center by committee. Was that kind of the best case scenario to see? You know. Kevin Kavar get a double double with Dave. DJ play the way he played tonight. Yeah, uh, I mean we did that last season, um, but obviously we just had two different looks. We got vet we had veterans that played those positions last year, um, and you had Loon that was a, a, a younger guy learning from D West, um, Zaza and Javale. Um, but this season we got young guys kind of anchoring that spot, um, and I think you know with Stephen Adams contesting everything at the rim, getting off the body of the bigs that allowed us to get offensive rebounds, and Loon was great at rebounding the basketball for us and making plays, kicking off with wide open threes. I feel like he could have had five or six assists, you know, so many open shots he got us off his rebounds. So um, let me see how many offensive rebounds Loon had. Yeah, yeah, eight offensive rebounds. So I think, you know, him playing that center, so many people are going to try to come off of him to help at the rim with me and Steph or Clay that he's going to be able to, you know, come in there and uh, and grab some boards for us and, and make some plays. So uh, I think all our centers did great tonight. Katie, what, what was your mindset like going into your third season as a Warriors? Uh, just uh, same as always been since I've been a pro. Um, you know, I'm a little nervous coming into the game since it's game one. There's so much going on around, so many people here. Um, but it was once the ball was tipped, it's about just trying to be the best I can every possession. And, um, you know, I think uh, I want to say I was about 40, 60. Um, you know, I wish I could be better. But overall, I think we played a, uh, played a solid game for the first one. Kevin, could you put the whole evening into perspective when you start with banner coming down, the rings dropping from the sky, <laughs> and then a hard-fought victory? Maybe it wasn't as clean or as pretty as you would have liked, but it's a W. 
Oh, yeah, then the whole night was, uh, I mean, we had to talk this morning about what would go down, like um, the, just the whole just the whole lay of the land for the night. I think, um, you know, just seeing D. West, seeing Matt Barnes, just seeing all the past Warrior champions and, like you said, the rings <laughs> coming from the ceiling. There's just so many emotions, and I think, um, you know, I seen Jacob Evans over there. He was just smiling from ear to ear because that experience was just, you know, coming in as a rookie and experiencing that, you know. So it was just so much I was thinking about, so much uh, that we were thinking about. Um, but uh, coming into the game, uh, we were excited about, you know, capping off, kind of finishing off last season with the ring ceremony. Um, but coming into the game, I mean, every game is not going to be a 140 to 99 shootout for us. I mean, we're, we're a team that can do pretty much play tough, play physical, uh, hard-nosed, close game, East Coast type basketball, and we play West Coast style. So, you know, it's going to be more games like that this season, especially with teams trying to, you know, starting to catch up with what we do a little bit and starting to know more of our scheme. So, you know, I think tonight was one of those nights that, you know, you're going to start, you're going to have to appreciate those type of games from us because it's going to happen more more times than not. Kevin, what, what do you think of being the last one uh, as far as the player being named for Rig Night? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. What would you think? It's not me. I was, like, does it mean anything special or anything? I mean, you asked the question like it did. <laughs> no. <laughs>